Although relatively simple, this is actually one of the more important steps in the preparation. Over the years, a hull will have gained a lot of dirt and grease on it. It is important to remove this before any sanding and finishing is completing, as sanding in particular will simply embed any dirt and grease into the gel coat underneath, which will make it difficult for the paint to adhere properly. Thankfully, the fact that we were able to scrape the top coat off made this a lot easier for us, although we were still very careful to wash properly. As stated, we splashed out on some evil product in a chandler rather than use soapy water. This, I think, was a good idea. The literature seems to vacillate between using soap or solvent-based products such as acetone. It should be stressed that there were no hosepipe bands in place while we washed off the degreaser, given how dry the summer of 2022 was proven to be. Finally, I suspect that we probably will give the colour a wipe down with acetone before we finally apply any primer to ensure that any dust and grease has been thoroughly removed. grunt work is at the moment. We're using a medium 150 grit paper with a random audit sanders at the moment, although you have to be careful not to hover in one place for too long and create a depression that will need filling later on. As from this video, poor old Audrey was only able to reach the waterline, but she did a sterling job cleaning up the tow rail and applying teak oil to all the exposed woodwork, which after a couple of years of neglect certainly needs it. At the moment with doing the initial sanding we've managed to scrape all the paint off as you can see so it's this nasty grey um, so slightly finer sandpaper take it down to the plain white um, and then the real boring work can start where we fill everything up and fair it and then maybe one day we'll get the paint on. <laughs>
now we're back in London for now, <clears throat> but we will get back down as soon as we are able. Not all our time was spent with the sander and the cleaner, but we find but and we finally managed to visit Anthony House outside Tor Point, something we've been planning to do since we've been based the boat in Tamar. We also visited Plymouth a couple of times, but as this is so familiar to us, making films of it didn't seem enticing enough. Maybe I'll try and do some in the future. Apologies for the excessive number of voiceovers as well, but I hope we'll be able to do more interesting activities.